Venezuela. The majority of the indigenous folk music is in 3-4 time, waltz time. I was really loving the melodies and one day there was a tropical rainstorm and um, I couldn't go to the beach so I just sat with my laptop and I thought I'm going to make me some of that Venezuelan waltz. I was just sort of emulating the grooves and the bass lines and sort of thinking well you know the sound palette I have in my laptop is all contemporary 21st century uh, or you know electronic sound. I started to research like the waltz, the history of it, which is just, just become this deep like passion and fascination of mine and and I just kind of can only make music with that time signature now. My generation is gone. My generation is gone. I had some waltz lessons um, because when I'm making my beats in the studio I want to know that they're waltzable. Put on a couple of events uh, here and there played out, got people waltzing on the dance floor in, in Vienna which is a special sort of milestone achievement sort of brought the waltz back home and it's just something magical about it and it's re-energised my creative tendencies and it's a cliche thing to say but like music is the drug. I was just looking for people that are on my wavelength and would get this and make it into something special and and they have all these amazing people have come along and helped me realise my vision um, artistically and hopefully that's going to extend and I hope to inspire other people to make music in three, four times. Like electronic music, I mean that's my thing really. Um, I like, I like music that sounds like the environment and it sounds like the internet and it sounds like uh, 21st century living.